Hi guys, I'm Alberto and uh, welcome back to DeFi Talks. Today I want to present to you my top 10 of tools that you should use into the crypto space that are free or at least they are having a free part that you can use that is valuable or at least that I think that is valuable. Plus, what I want to do today is not just presenting the typical tools that uh, I have been talking about into this channel. If you missed my previous episode, I will share a link into the corner here, right corner, and feel free to check in that video I was presenting to you around seven different tools that are quite available. Today, I will not talk about them because if you want, you can always check that link. Today, I wanna present to you other tools that are quite useful, so stay tuned. Guys, let me say uh, that this channel is about educational content and nothing has to be intended as financial advice. If you want to invest in anything, that's great, but do always your own research before. And guys, don't forget to check all our links into the description below, specifically our weekly newsletter on Substack that's full of new insights that you will not find into this channel. Plus, follow us on Twitter where we talk about other analysis and updates on that channel. And if you enjoy this content, don't forget to leave us a big thumbs up and drop a comment into the comment section below and share with me if you know any other tool that I'm missing that could be valuable and explain to me why it is so useful. Okay, guys, so let's start with the first tool. Yes, I know that I say that uh, I would talk about new tools, but I wanted to start with DeFi Lama for a simple reason. DeFi Lama in the last couple of months has changed so much. I don't know if you have noticed, but new tools came out with, for example, the liquidation one, that you can explore each day the number of liquidation on each of the different apps that are supported right now. And what is impressive, and that's the reason why I wanted to talk about it, is that DeFi Lama is literally evolving every day. Yes, right now is not yet supporting all the different protocols, but they are working pretty well. You can also check the airdrop feature. That's quite interesting if you are craving if you are looking for protocols that can offer to you an airdrop in the next future they are simply collecting different applications that are not yet having a token or maybe that in their opinion they could support an airdrop in the next future so check it and you can also check all the fork if you are interested and so on as you can see the number of features that DeFi Lama is offering is quite high and the level of analysis is quite impressive. So in my opinion, among the three tools right now, DeFi Lama is one of the most powerful one. Another tool that I wanted to share that is connecting to what I was saying to you previously about the airdrops is called Gitcoin.com. On this platform, you will have the opportunity to support your favorite project. Because for example, if you click here on view all grants, you will have the opportunity to explore different protocols that they are not yet having a token. But you can support them through Gitcoin because you can deposit a, a value, assets, and in this case, ETH mostly, and they will support the project that you like. And maybe, obviously remember, this is just a bet because nothing is for granted. Depositing here using Gitcoin is not 100% means that you will receive an airdrop. It simply means that these are projects that maybe you can like them. If you wanna support them and maybe in the future receive some kind of reward, this could be a way to do that. Another tool that is quite interesting is Treehouse. It is something like uh, to uh, debank, but the reason why it is different is because in the moment when you are using the uh, platform, you will see that the kind of in-depth analysis is quite uh, greater than what you are seeing on, uh, for example, on DBank. Not to mention that in this video, I really want to share with you tools that maybe you didn't know about them that uh, can be useful for you because DBank, with any probability, if you're using the file, you already uh, know it, but uh, Treehouse could be something different. As you can see, you have also the uh, total profit and loss for the assets that are supported that are uh, in your wallet. You can see the current price, how much did you pay for that. You can decide to use Dust or not. You can explore the different DeFi protocols, uh, identifying them by a chain. 
as you can see if you go here you will see the level of rewards interest lp fees that you have collected plus the impermanent loss calculator so as you can see the level here you can find also an overview i'm going quite fast just because i don't want to do a, a vertical video on uh, this single tool because i want to share with you different tools i will leave all the links into the description below so feel free to check them if you are interested on uh, them as you can see here you have uh, for example the breakdown of uh, an LP on pancake swap and so on. In the moment when we are talking about Treehouse, we are obviously talking about a tool that is still young, but is going and is growing a lot quite uh, fast. Not to mention that they also have quite an interesting uh, uh, section, Learn the file, where you can go through different articles that are explaining to you much more about DeFi and their platform. I want to now take a moment to discuss about an announcement that is coming from one of my partners and more specifically from the Oasis Foundation and the, so the Oasis Protocol that is a blockchain focused on privacy and the topic about privacy it is really important specifically after what happened last time with Tornado Cash and all the buzz that is around the privacy. The announcement that is coming out is a partnership with Meta, so the company that is behind Facebook, Instagram, and the whole ecosystem, and obviously Oasis. The goal of this partnership has been developing a technology that is called Secure Multi-Party Computation. And the goal of this technology is to enabling processing the data without having to show the information, so without giving the opportunity to neither the person it is collecting the information, neither to Meta, to access the real uh, information. And that's something really important because we are having algorithms that are used in order to improve the service, to uh, uh, increase the level of fairness of the service, but they are needing the data. But this kind of data could be sensitive. For example, in this case, they are making the example of a survey on Instagram that is asking about ethnicity and race. What is really important in this case is that who is collecting the data, so from the survey and the same time meta, neither of them have to access the real information. And this process is made possible by this technology that is covering, so that is encrypting this information, giving the AI the ability to process the information, but without having the need to access the underlying information, while at the same time Meta and uh, the person that is uh, collecting information from uh, the, uh, the survey is completely uh, not uh, able to access uh, this data. So in this way you are feeling free to share data, sensible data like uh, ethnicity um, or race without having to worry who will uh, access this information because nobody will. And this is the first step on a more broad vision that is a, a privacy focused. Because in the moment when we are talking about this massive amount of data that is collected by companies like Meta, what we need is a, a layer like the ones that has been developed by Oasis and they are keep developing it with a, a Meta in order to maintain the privacy and to keep the data uh, secure. Going on, Oasis Labs is also a key contributor of the Oasis Network. I will leave also all the links about the announcement of the partnership between Oasis Labs and Meta, plus also all the uh, links that are involving the Oasis protocol, so you can learn much more about uh, Oasis protocol and how this uh, uh, company, this blockchain is enabling to maintain your privacy and secure it and how could be also the different kind of application from a point of view or smart contracts and so on. So guys, if you want to know more, you can simply access this information just below. Going on, another platform that is quite interesting is CoinGlass that is offering you different analysis about uh, uh, DEXs or most of all uh, centralized exchanges. For example, here you can check uh, uh, Binance, the pair, the price, uh, the amount of open positions that is uh, long and short. You can analyze the, uh, the volumes, the liquidation that happened during this time. You can check the funding rate and so on. 
All of these informations are quite important if you want to trade, if you want to understand how the market is behaving right now, if it is overexposed or not, if the open interest is high, if it is decreasing or increasing. For example, here you will see that in the last 24 hours has increased on several of them, but if we check the overall trend, you will see that starting from November, the open interest has decreased. Right now we are quite steady and the point is that what will happen if uh, probably if the Nasdaq and S&P will lose, but the same if it will happen with Bitcoin, will lose the support that will be triggered by uh, the low of June, with any probability also the open interest will go down. When we talk about open interest, it also means that if it is really high, the probability to have some kind of short or long squeeze is higher. And the higher is this probability, higher is the volatility that we can predict into the market, because it simply means that it can trigger a cascade of liquidations. Another uh, platform that is quite interesting, that is coming directly from the team of CoinGecko, is Gecko Terminal. That is a platform that, as you can see on the left, is giving you the opportunity to select the uh, blockchain that you want to explore. For example, we can click on Avalanche and here we'll find all the different pairs. So we are talking about a DAX analytics platform. Not so different from what we have seen. I have been using many times also during my videos DAX screener. This could be an alternative and it is quite interesting because it's giving you the opportunity to check for each pair each pool on a certain DAX, all the transactions, the price, you can analyze the chart from here, plus the liquidity. Guys, always remember that the liquidity is something that is really important because without liquidity, you will not have the possibility to exit from your position from a certain DAX. Not to mention that lower is the liquidity, higher would be the slippage in the moment when you are trying to do a transaction into that platform. Going on, I want to also share CoinStats that is quite a, a big platform that is quite famous, but I never talked about it. Could be another opportunity to manage your crypto and DeFi portfolio. For example, personally speaking, I was using since the beginning of when I started with crypto uh, Delta, that was a platform that has been evolving during the time, but this could be another uh, alternative. Let me know into the comment section what you are using to manage your portfolio to uh, track it and what is your favorite uh, app or platform. Another interesting platform is Goku Stats that is quite interesting because it is allowing you to analyze for each chain, daily active addresses, transactions, TVL, you can check stable coins, uh, social activities and so on. And you can compare the trend for each blockchain. Here, if you click are the blockchains that are supported, as you can see, they are not yet supporting all the different blockchains. So you can still remember that we are just analyzing a small portion of the big space that when we are talking about cryptos, DeFi and blockchains, but could be a quite useful just to help you understand if during the time something is changing and you can analyze also for each blockchain the same, checking the trend and so on. It could be quite a, a useful addition in the moment when you're analyzing the market. Another application that I really like is Watchers for the simple reason that is giving you the ability, as you can see on VC Watch, if you click on that and you go on VC dashboard, you can select each of the uh, VCs, so people that are investing big venture capital. For example, we can check jump trading and you can check their portfolio with all the different investments and holdings that they have. And that's quite interesting because it is uh, helping you from one side to understand if big whales, big VCs are at risk of being liquidated or whatever it could be if they are suffering big losses and so on. But on the other side, maybe it can also help you to understand if there is uh, some uh, asset, some new crypto that you didn't know about, but uh, VCs are pushing hard on that. Because obviously if they are pushing hard, it also means that in the next future, maybe it can pump the price of this asset. So maybe that's something that you would like to know about. 
Um, at the same way, another thing that is quite important is still connecting to VCs is the token unlock. Because knowing when a big unlock will happen, this is something that is really important because remember, in the moment when VCs are investing into a, a project, they are receiving an allocation. This allocation is having usually a vesting period. So it means that the tokens are unlocked for a certain period. But when the unlocking time is coming, it means that if they are in profit or maybe if they need the liquidity, they can sell. And this can generate a massive selling pressure into that token. So knowing when uh, the um, unlock will happen, it is something that is really important. Here you can check the calendar of different projects that are going through a major unlocking period that can affect the price. So that's something that could be really useful. Just before closing, I want to share three other tools. I want to just mention them. Uh, Web Alerts that is offering you the opportunity to check uh, uh, different projects that uh, in the opinion of uh, uh, the tool are quite interesting because they are going trend and maybe it could be just an opportunity to check them if they are worth it or not. Revert, that is a, a, a tool that is enabling you to analyze LPs on Uniswap. And here is Brad uh, Crumbs that is also enabling you to analyze a single wallet to understand if it is connected to any other wallet and how it is behaving. I'm just mentioning them because the, most of their features are uh, paid, but maybe could be uh, something that is worth it to give a look. Guys, let me know which is your favorite tool. Let me know if you're using something else. I want to learn from you uh, new tools that could be valuable in order to improve our day-by-day -day, uh, activities on DeFi and cryptos. Let me know into the comment section below. Guys, don't forget to leave us a big thumbs up and drop a comment, and I will see you soon with another video. Bye, guys.